focus on the future here. And I want to start with you, Bruce. And I uh, always like to uh, wrap the show up and talk about uh, paint a picture of the future, if you will. Tell us what it's going to look like in a couple of years as Palo Alto is pulling stuff out of the Petri dish, right? They've got it in early development. What's that demand signal that you all have been working on uh, that we can expect to see over the course of the next two to three years? Future is machine learning. It is. It has capability that lets us do things without a human in the loop that is extraordinary. Humans just don't have the scope of awareness to pull all these things together and operationalize them well at scale and do it at low latency. That latency in disconnected solutions slows everything down and it, frankly, it causes security challenges. We want to make sure that we are evolving to become more efficient. We want to reduce the mechanical entropy inside of us and subsequently inside of the agencies that use us. We're trying to make sure that we want to, that we are providing a solution that is designed to keep it simple, much like Matthew was talking about earlier. We want to keep things simple. We want to make sure that it doesn't become complex, that it, that it, that it is evolving towards efficiency and the graceful application of machine learning, the graceful application of automation, all of those things become components that contribute towards low detection times, low response times, and the efficiency of turning it into reality, making something actually happen. That is not easy to do. And so our focus over the next three years is going to be taking those things that we've built and refining them, making them simple, keeping them scalable at cloud scale and letting the agencies that use us evolve along with us. I hope that makes sense. 